My name is Reed White. I'm a painter. I'm going to make some painting videos and teach you how I paint. It's not the only way to paint, but hopefully you'll get some tricks that you can take and add into your practice. I wouldn't advise painting as a profession to anyone because it's a very hard life. Thank you. When I talk about color, I'm going to use three different terms. Value, chroma, and hue. Value is how dark a color is. Like yellow is a, is a, when it's peaking like a bright yellow, it's a light value. Purple would be a darker value. Chroma is the intensity of a color. Um, like that. That's a really intense high chroma orange. That could be considered an orange but it's a lower chroma orange. Hue would be Roy G. Biv, or the colors of the spectrum, red, green, yellow, blue, yada, yada. And so by using those terms, you can break down and analyze all the colors into a pretty descriptive manner. Understanding the principles of how light wraps around objects, the physics of light, will help you piece together and figure out how a drawing works. You've got five areas of light. And now this is assuming that everything is the same color, saying it's all white in this instance. Um, there will be different values within that light at that white as light wraps around an object. You've got the light source. That is the highlight where the light is directly uh, perpendicular to the object. Then you've got the lighted area, which would be everything that is directly hit by the light. Then you have the sh the actually going from lightest to darkest, then it would be the reflex area because this area is getting bounce light from this surface. Um, and then this area, the shadow contour, is darker than this, which blew me away when I learned that, that all of a sudden I started seeing things totally differently and I understood a lot. Um, and then you have the darkest area is the shadow contour and the shadow contour, or I'm sorry, the cast shadow. And the cast shadow is darker as it approaches the point of connection or whatnot. So you've got Highlight, lighted area, reflex light, shadow contour, and cast shadow. And now once you understand that, you can look at something and um, just figure out, well, how, how would it work? And if color actually works the same way, if if I have this ball and it now gets bounce light from this object, it's going to have a blue hue because the light bouncing off of this lights that and it will, that determines the color of all objects. So if you get a still life, say, and you have 
a red object next to a yellow object, the bounce light off of the red object onto the yellow object is going to create more of an orange hue. And so that will map together all of your color and help you make your color decisions. Now, these are just concepts that are good principles to understand. It doesn't mean you can't break them, break those rules. But so that helps drawing and understanding what's going on.